My name is Joshua Harms. I am a fine artist and a guitar builder. I live in Victoria, BC. I've lived here for just over two years now. As far as like getting started with artwork, my mom was an artist uh, and my dad was a photographer. And so I always felt very free to express myself creatively, like drawing on my walls, on my cabinets, and then moving on to paper, <laughs> finger painting, stuff like that. Yeah, it's just always been kind of a part of my life. When I moved here, I was looking for a sleeping bag. And so I went into the store and I just needed a sleeping bag for the next day, right? Well, I walk in there and I go upstairs and Erin's right there. I'm just chatting with her and she's like helping me with the sleeping bags. We probably just sat on the floor of the upper floor of Robinson's for like 30, 40 minutes just talking about camping trips and like giving me suggestions and just hanging out, just being really personal. Places that are willing to just really be with a customer, be personal, right? We share an interest and it's so obvious that, that you guys are like really passionate about what it is that you do. I feel the most true to who I am when I'm making things. Everything else just melts away and I can just get absorbed in my work. Time flies and I forget to eat and all of these wonderful things. And then after that, I just feel rewarded. You look at things through a different lens. You're looking at composition and you're looking at texture and color and how everything matches up because you need to to like apply it to your work and when i go out and i go on a hike i see that everywhere and i see inspiration everywhere the, the trails here are just magnificent like the gnarly trees and the wind swept you know everything and the lichen and it's just such a special place Getting outdoors right now is just, I think, the best thing that you can do because you just, you have the time to think and process some of those wounds that come from just being in a state of feeling stuck. I think right now, the most sort of important thing for everyone is that we're kind of all in the same boat with this problem. We've gotten through a lot and this will pass too. I know for the series of portraits that I've done, like it is meant to highlight struggles with mental health, especially right now, right? Like we're all in this really tough situation. And I've had a few people look at some of my pieces and you just know that it's like reaching them on some level. And that's totally, that's what I'm in it for, is that connection that I have put in an emotion to the piece and the piece has given them hopefully that same emotion that I've tried to put in.